always do that on purpose because I like to make him walk back and forth across the room. <laughs> okay, so now Andrea is pretty good with those oh, hamstrings, yeah. right? Yeah. Not much of a hamstring problem with Andrea. So I just want your hand first to go like this because I don't want to kneel on you. Now I can come up on the table because I'm dressed and she's dressed, right? If you don't want your shoes, I actually practice at home barefoot, so you know I have my shoes on right now. So I want to get her at least 90 degrees. Stop! Look at you locking already. I'm gonna ask you to lock your knee though. Oh yeah, not so easy to do that without locking the ankle. <laughs> Extend. She can't do it. Extend through. Extend through your heel. Now let go of your chest and shoulders. Thank you. <laughs> not so easy, you guys trying to remember to lock that knee and not be able and not lock the ankle. How hard was that? Well, I'm really used to contracting my quads to lock my knees from yoga. Right. Your leg, but you, even if you contracted your quads, what does that have to do with that? That's true. Right? What is what does your quads have to do with your ankle dorsiflexing? Not much. <laughs> really, really much nothing. So lock that knee. Now I'm going to let her pretty much lean on me. We're going to keep the knee lock, but I'm also taking the stress out of the quads for holding the leg up. Now, if Andrea could only go this far, am I going to show her up here? No. <laughs> right? No. I might come down here. I might be off the table. I have an electronic table. I might drop her down and I can still stand. You know, slide her tushy over to the edge and put her on my shoulder. But for right now, since we're all on standard tables, we're going to come up here. She's going to relax. New socks there, kid. Right? So she's going to not lock her foot. She's going to extend from her hip out her heel to lock her knee. Thank you. Now, Miss Flexibility has some neuromuscular neuro, uh, issues, doesn't she? Because she can't do a basic thing to lock. The other thing I'm noticing here is, well, she's got pretty much evenly flat. She's actually what? She's the opposite of most people. She's slightly everted, isn't she? Most people, they put their foot up here and they're inverted. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just as a preface to most people, um, I have a really bad sense of smell, so this doesn't bother me. <laughs> For those of you, and if someone's leaving their shoes on, just be careful that you're not getting kicked in the face. Okay? So now that I have her locked, I'm going to put my hands right up here. It's pretty much the reverse of this. I'm now here. And I'm going to put, ask Andrea to bring her foot, this point, to her nose. Now, does anybody know why I said her nose? Do you feel it? Right there. She's got flexibility. She's got range of motion, but right there. I'm taking over for her. Now, we're doing two things here. One, I'm tractioning. I'm tractioning towards the ceiling before she moves, and as she moves, what I'm still tractioning. tractioning. Hmm? What are you tractioning? I'm tractioning the foot to give space oh, okay. in the ankle. Okay. 